Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the new show from Chanel. It is their pre-fall Métier d'Art collection. As per usual, we're going to take a look at the entire show, things that stood out. If you haven't seen any of my previous episodes, I'm going to link a playlist up here. If you're new here to my channel, welcome! My name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into this collection. The very first thing that I noticed from this collection is all the legging looks. Although leggings are very casual in nature, they do look a bit more elevated in these looks because of the sheen, especially because nowadays people want more comfortable clothes. And I'm not mad at it. Chanel does dress up or elevate the look with a beautiful jacket. Per usual, the colorway of Métier d'Art is one of my favorites. It incorporates a lot of black and white, so very neutral colors, but there are also some jewel tones, so we're seeing some deeper red burgundy colors, a lot of tweed material, a lot of gold accent as well. Very fall appropriate, but also very neutral and wearable for all year round. And of course, towards the end of the show, we're seeing a lot more of the black and white, more elegant evening looks. We're also seeing a few pieces with the sequined checkered pattern on some skirts and on some bags in diamond shape. Chanel is also known for belting all their looks, which also accentuates the waist and gives a little bit more shape to uh, even more boxier look. Love this sort of black and white and a little bit of blush pink detailing. Looks very plush and very comfortable for fall. Looks like a bodysuit actually, and I wonder if these are sold separately or together. Loving this beautiful look in houndstooth, very Chanel with lots and lots of pearl details. The choker, the longer necklaces, there are shorter ones, longer ones all the way down to the knee. We're also seeing some really blinged up accessories here. It looks like a card holder. Um, not super wearable, but I definitely see this on say like Gwen Stefani or anybody who loves a good play suit look with uh, beautiful long bare legs. I love this jacket and even this whole look, especially this jacket. Beautiful tweed, very neutral, goes with everything. I'm seeing a lot of this heart shape collar choker necklace on a lot of the models on this runway. Extra mini mini bag on chain worn crossbody. They've added a little handle for novelty purpose. Of course these don't fit very much. It won't fit a phone but they are super cute and so the trend is still going strong. Headband with pearl dangling. It looks like you're wearing really long earrings, but it is actually a headband. Very interesting. Love this vest. Skirt combination. Even the blue legging or the blue bodysuit underneath. I'm not mad at it. It's just very high fashion, very modern. Uh, and looks very very comfortable to wear. Little handbag as a charm on another bag. Looks like the trend of the mini accessories are not going away at all. Beautiful tweed ensemble here. Elegant, belted with all kinds of hardware. This sweater looks amazing. Probably one of the more popular ready to wear item that the general public would love buying. Loving how they are accessorizing this look as well with tons of different length necklaces, pearls. Such an effortless look in here. Semi see-through skirt and simple cardigan. Always loving all the accessories. I feel like Chanel does their costume accessories really, really well and it really does elevate any look. Beautiful rust color. This is just gorgeous. The whole ensemble, the larger coat on the outside. Again, with the juxtaposition of a more casual garment underneath and a more elevated look on the outside. Just makes it very modern in my opinion. Interesting accessory. It looks like to be AirPod pearl necklace. Love the idea. Obviously for the runway, it's 
cool, but uh, in real life, not so sure how wearable or even if it's a good idea to buy it to use in real life. Um, probably not, but it is cool as a concept for sure. Loving the black and white. As a normal person watching the runway, you can pick out the trend that works for you, that incorporates well in your wardrobe. You don't have to get everything right. You just get inspiration from the fashion show, which is why it's always more extravagant on the models when it comes to your own personal wardrobe and what you can possibly add from these pieces. Just go for the things that usually work for you. This look is amazing, really beautiful. You can still really be comfortable underneath wearing your body suit and leggings, but still look quite polished on the outside. Loving this look in general, except for the fact that because she's wearing her leggings or play suit underneath, uh, this area becomes less attractive. So unless she buttons this up, then belts it. Maybe this was a bit of a miss. Always loving the belted looks and the accessories. In this case, this CC choker looks stunning. Love this whole look really, really much. Well done with the more casual underneath, with the more elegant polish on the outside. Okay, so in this case, I feel like because you're seeing the whole play suit underneath, it seems to work. Either you show the whole thing underneath or you don't. Um, hide that crotch. That's how I would style it. The fact that the whole play suit is displayed and clearly visible, that works for me. It makes the play suit the actual outfit. And of course, like I said earlier, you have to have a certain body shape and curves in the right places to confidently wear this. More pearl necklaces. This really long one looks very stunning. Finally, the show is closed with yet again their signature legging that we saw at the beginning uh, with uh, the beautiful necklace that I'm super attracted to. To me, where this collection stood out the most, whether you think that it's a good or a bad thing, are definitely the legging looks or the tight bodysuit look underneath. It's very casual in nature, but I feel like with the modern age and how people love to dress more comfortably nowadays and especially with the pandemic, it definitely works and it definitely seems appropriate. Métier d'art is typically my favorite collection of the entire year. I just feel like it really goes with the vibe of how I like to dress. I really, really loved this collection. I feel like, um, you know, I, I love the spring summer. It was very nice to look at in terms of a show not so sure about getting the ready to wear for myself per se but looking at this particular collection it's very much to uh, to the tee of what i would wear even down to the leggings even though i'm probably never gonna buy a pair of chanel leggings because they probably cost a lot loved a lot of the jewelry or accessories from this collection i'm just so excited to see it in person when it comes out next uh, summer. So yeah, what were your thoughts about this collection? I have a feeling that a lot of you would like it a lot more. And let me know if there's any standout, whatever that you might want to get your hands on. If you're new to my channel and you love this content, I'd love to have you back. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!